Hey gang, FLXB Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. I am Mike Dan. It's a bottle. What are we drinking? Uh, Mike, we have a beer out of Rochester, New York. Ooh. Uh, heart of the FLX, mm -hmm. sort of. Sure. In a weird way. Yep. Um, that <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this is from the Rohrbach Brewing Company. Ooh, Rohrbach. And this is part of their Parting Glass series. And this is their 2024 Spruce Saison aged in gin barrels. Oh my. Uh, so it was aged three months in Zin gin barrels. And it Ooh. comes in at 8.2 ABV. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, that sounds good. Yeah, it, it does. Uh, so we've had some of the other Parting Glass series. Yep. Um, uh, results were mixed. I mean, good beers, but nothing like mind-blowing mm -hmm. or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm really amped for this one. You don't see a lot of a gin barrel... Uh, beers and uh i find gin to be very interesting so we'll dive in let's do that looks great. uh saison too i like spruce, saison. So i mean we'll see what they yeah, do everything like. about it sounds like it should be a great beer yeah i love the label the texture yeah um wow that is just a, a great golden looking beer it looks like a cheap shelfie beer uh, macro, <laughs> if you will. No, yeah, I can definitely see what you're saying there. Yeah, uh, nice, foamy, rocky head on top of it yeah, there. Yeah, but uh, it, it's like layered. It goes very tight and compact. Uh, bro, if you kind of look through, there's uh, some floating. Goodness, like, yeah. Kinda, it's like it, gelatin, not mixed all the way. It, it looks great. Uh, let's get a whiff on this thing. I have to give it a Man, swirl. I've got high hopes for the nose. Give a swirl. Give a nose. Oh. Oh, my. Ooh. Any notes you're getting out of that? Uh, a little horsey. A little horsey okay. blanket. Okay. A little cuddle with the horsey nighttime blanket. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. A little, co uh, little, little coriander on the nose, too. Okay. Um, yeasty kind of bubbly uh, thing going on. Um, spruce, I'm really not... I guess... Yeah. So this is kind of cold. I Maybe if it opens up, we should let... Warm up a little yeah, bit. It's probably but, all right. Uh, yeah, I definitely get like a lemon zest uh, horse blanket, a uh, straw kind of hay. And I guess there's a, kind <clears throat> of like a, a slight like rose water kind of oh, yeah, okay. going on with okay, it. Okay, yeah, I can That see might that. be more from the gin than anything. Uh -huh. Okay. There's yeah. a nice little yeasty, bready yeah, note to it. Not this uh, spruce though. No, no, I, I would have never guessed. Maybe a, a bright citrus, but it's like, that could be coupled with anything. I just kind of want that pine needle kind of aspect. I don't know. It could be on the taste. Yeah, we'll find Let's out. Cheers. Cheers. There's the gin. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, that's... Mm. That's a wild ride. That's like, if you took a double mint, hmm. uh, spearmint gum, double mint gum, mm -hmm. and then popped that in your mouth, and then popped a stick of juicy fruit bubble gum in your mouth, okay, and mixed them together, I'm kind of getting that, uh, as far as that bubble gummy okay. kind of yeast character, and it's got that slight mint and botanical. Definitely still getting like a, like a pink rose water kind of thing like a cucumber water kind of deal hmm. what are you thinking kind of silent i don't know if i like this really yeah i, I like it <clears throat> I, I for the most part i mean okay let's talk about it mm -hmm. um 8.2 percent <sighs> it's medium body yeah it's it's kind of light and airy, but it does have a bit of a heft to it, mm -hmm. uh, maybe on the back end of the palate. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's light and airy on the front and then a little more weighty in the back. Um, it, it's, so there's a sweet fruitiness on it, and I'm getting that pine sap kind of thing coming in now. Now that I'm drinking it, okay, and that over-resonating, it's like a leftover minty herbal kind of botanical thing. Herbal, I get, yeah, it, but it, it's very much like wet mm. straw, 
like wet, wet wood. I don't know. I don't get much. Be like the nose is completely different than the flavor is for me. I'm not. I'm not hating it. It's drying. Um, the the yeasty aspect is still there. Um, it's not as as fruity as I thought or kind of want it to be. Okay. Um, I really? think the gin is kind of overtaking it. Uh, I think we are living. I think we're having two different beers. We are. Yeah, we are double agents here. Mm -hmm. Living in yeah, lies. It, it's okay, but yeah, I, it's not for me. Okay. It's not for me. I, I would more so go on, like, what you're getting out of it, because I think I'm getting a completely different beverage. Yeah, that's not for me. Okay. I think if you're a fan of Saison's... Um, Which but, but, I am. <laughs> but here, here's like, the thing. I don't... What, what's the appealing part of a Saison, though, is kind of the lower ABV, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I And I like the, you know, horse blanket... Mm -hmm. Zest from like a lemon lime type thing. The straw, the uh, the floral notes. I love it when it's really floral. Um, I think uh, it is kind of the lime. Now that you met, mm -hmm. like the lime plays a big character in it. Yeah, I definitely like it's a, a gin with lime in it. Um, but I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. Do you think you want it aged more, longer than three months, or is just I think the I combination just... of the the spruce? The Saison. See, and and I, I completely forgot about the spruce. I'm, really? I'm not getting any yeah. spruce out of it. But here's the thing. When you think spruce, like, um... I mean, I immediately go to West Coast IP, so I look for those kind of... Yeah, I like those the pine characters. Um, Three Heads does their spruce tip uh, IPA. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Do you want to rate it, or...? Um... Yeah, I mean, it's like... I don't know. For me, it's like a maybe a two. I don't like it at all. Okay, and I don't even I don't even know if I can get a, a give it a for what it is because I, I don't know. I think the gin is too overpowering. The Does other it come off more me. like a a cocktail to you? <sighs> yeah, but not a good one. Okay, maybe you're just not a gin guy. Maybe I'm, yeah, maybe I, that's what I was just gonna say. Maybe I'm not a gin guy. Hmm. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think yeah, it's not for me. I think if you're a gin lover. I think you'll like this. Um, I would go on Dan's rating on this one. <laughs> Ignore everything. So I'd for eight point two, <clears throat> sure, it kind of feels like you're drinking a big beer. Um, I I think it drinks subtle enough to where it, it it's not heavy. Mm -hmm. um, I dare say this would go very well with like a nice uh, like a fish dinner or something like I that. I agree. Yep, like a white um, fish. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I I don't know. I. I'd give this a a four. I, okay. I, I enjoy it. Um, I mean, the price point. It was like 12 bucks. Ah, man, you really can't go wrong with that price point, though. But aren't they all kind of like... Yeah, they're like 11, 12 for like a, a I, I got this at Wegmans. I got this at Wegmans. Yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah, if you, I mean, if you live in this area, I think it's worth a try. I, I think sure. it's a fun one to share with buddies and um, or, or your wife or whoever. Just share it. Yeah. Have it with dinner. I think it's a nice mix between if you wanted a cocktail or like a glass of wine or something. I can this see would that. Be, I, I, I think it's a, kind of a more sophisticated palette. What um, are you saying? It's okay. Um, I'm like yeah. some French speaking toad mold. <laughs> piece of garbage no, it, over it, here. it's good. I, I like it. So, all right. Um, yeah, uh, link down below. For all the link trees and all the social medias. Uh, have you had this? Have you had it in the Parting Glass series? Do you enjoy Rohrbach? Uh, just Are you an idiot? Let's uh, let's let's you need copy. your beverages <laughs> dumbed down for you. Let, let's copy No Hype Beer Review. I need and, uh, Mountains that are blue. Let me know what bear's called. Let's get a conversation going. Um, <laughs> I like when he says that. I do like when he says it. And I didn't mean for it to come off so bad. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, man.